Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see uh, what is your special someone, um, what are they telling their family and friends about you. It is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. So what are they telling their family and friends about you? A lot of air and earth energy, so you may be dealing with a fellow air sign or an earth sign here. Um, you've come up as a ten of swords, the five of swords and the queen of swords. Um, this is someone who's hurt you. This is someone whom you have experienced some sort of turbulency with. This person might be talking about you, but not so much to you, right? They're definitely thinking about you and it feels like they are here's the thing it feels like they are talking to the close family and friends but it feels like there is some sort of opposition that they're getting from their family and friends here from their connecting energy so for example if this is someone who has hurt you you know who's um who might have betrayed you who might have broken your trust this is someone who's caused you a lot of heartache and um a lot of emotional anguish this person is hurt Okay, they're hurt that their actions and their words hurt you. But it feels like they're not they're not able to deal with the shame or with the guilt here. And as a result, they may have pulled away. Um, they're very confused. Okay, this is someone who has invested a lot of themselves and a lot of their life into you and into the future of this connection. But then they went ahead and did something which they feel like they can't recover from or which perhaps you feel like you're very hurt and you're not able to move on from. Um, they do talk about you. There is in particular a close connecting energy. It feels like it's a uh, strong feminine energy. So it could be like um, a mother. It could be a sister. It could be just a, you know, a friend here. But strong female energy that's coming across as an alpha. And she's saying some things which are very blunt she's saying some things which feel like they are opposing this person's feelings so this person may want to come back and reconcile but this particular you know queen of swords energy is saying that it might not be a good idea um, she's saying that you know uh, or it might not be a good idea now okay she's saying that maybe the both of you are um, not necessarily working or not working out at this particular stage in time so and this person is already confused. So what, and the thing, the, the thing is, this person is very impressionable. So they're easily influenced by other people's opinions, okay? And what's happened is they do want to come back and reconcile. They do want to come back and make it right. But it feels like someone is opposing what it is that they're feeling. And they don't feel like they're 100% entitled to, to their feelings. Or they don't feel like, you know, what they're feeling is right here. So we've got the Queen of Swords energy who is opposing what this person is thinking or feeling and that's what's adding more to this person's confusion um, they are invested this is someone who has it feels like this is someone who wanted or still wants to build a life with you okay and this person you know they wanted to walk down the aisle with you this person wanted to 
settle down, move in with you. They wanted to have something long-term and consistent. Something They wanted a long-term relationship. They wanted commitment with you at the end of the day. They wanted to be that King of Pentacles energy for you. They wanted to be the provider. They wanted to, you know, not only in the financial or physical um, space, but they wanted to be your everything here, okay? They wanted to provide you with a lifetime of happiness and abundance. But they felt like they failed. They feel like a failure because they went ahead and did something that, you know, that really hurt you. Um, there was a lot of, you know, Five of Swords tells us that there is a tension here. The clouds in the background look rather turbulent here. So I don't know if you were the one, you know, to have walked away or if the both of you kind of went separate ways or you're in some sort of discord or disconnection because of this Five of Swords opportunity, uh, situation, sorry. But this is someone who, you know, they do, this person does talk about you, but it feels like they're talking more about you than they are to you. And that's because these billowing clouds here, these turbulent clouds, tells us that this person, there's this inner storm that's going on with this individual. They may not know what to say. They might be struggling with what it is they're feeling. They do want to come in with contact. They do want to come in with communication. But it's not that simple because it feels like this person, honestly, they're easily impressionable. Okay, that's one thing. Um, so what someone is going to say, well, is going to impress upon them, right? Um, especially this, you know, some of this opposition that they're experiencing. It feels like they're listening to their family and friends and their family and friends might be saying, you know, this isn't going to work or, you know, this person, somehow you, they feel like maybe you're too good for them or you're out of the league or you're out of their league. They feel like a sense of insecurity and their family and friends notice this, notice that, you know, their insecurities are being brought out. Um, and there's just, maybe the both of you have argued a lot in the past, so you've, you've both kind of caused each other a lot of pain and they saw what their, you know, what this person went through because it feels like you, you guys kind of break up and then make up or you guys have sort of been in this kind of turbulent situation before and they saw the pain and the heart break that this person went through and they don't want for that person to have to go through that all over again so they're not opposing this person to be mean to you okay they're not opposing this you know what this person thinks and says to you know it's not like it's not like they don't like you or they're trying to be mean to you. It's like they're trying, it's a way of trying to protect you and trying to protect this person. But, you know, this is someone who's in two minds because this is an individual that thought you're their forever person. You were the one. This is an individual that, um, you know, they thought this is it. This is going to be the last relationship. They feel very childlike. They're telling their family and friends how silly they feel or they feel like they didn't take the relationship or the connection serious enough there's something here that they and they keep saying you know that they didn't take it serious enough or they didn't you know they didn't give it their all and they wish they had they have this dark cloud that's hanging over them um, they have a lot of turmoil a lot of conflict and a lot of tension in their energies as well with how they feel um, if only they stop listening to these family, um, to these really close connecting energies, whether family or friends, it feels like they would be a little less confused. Okay, because that's only adding to the tension. It's not helping, you know, it's only escalating the situation. It's not really helping the situation. You know, but they are doing a lot of talking about you, a lot of thinking about you. It's just that they need to sit with their emotions. Okay, they should stop asking their family and friends how they feel because only they know how they feel, right? Only they know what they want. They should stop, you know, they should really try and um, step into their own here. Just a heads up, I do feel like there is going to be contact and communication from this person. It does feel like it's taking a little longer than you'd like to arrive but i do see this person reaching out and contacting you because they're fighting it okay they want you they still love you but they're fighting it okay and there is oppositional force they're experiencing but i do see i, I see it still um, happening regardless okay guys these are your messages thanks so much for watching and listening please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing bye